blessing to you all, people of God. God bless you, brothers and sisters. I bring the blessings of God to you this hour, brothers and sisters. I want to encourage you. I want to strengthen your desire for God. You that are so discouraged that believe that there is no hope for you. Listen and listen go. There is still a hope for the tree they have cut down. The only tree there is no hope is the one they are uprooted. As far the enemy could not kill you, they can't touch you again. If you have this good faith and this mindset that I am more powerful than the devil, I am more powerful than my accusers, I am more powerful than my persecutor, I am more powerful than the enemy that want me to die, you are more powerful than them because they cannot touch your soul. They cannot kill you because God God is with you. He that created you is with you. If God be for you, who can be against you? Focus on your purpose. You have a mandate you need to fulfill. Don't let the criticize of mankind to put you down. Don't let their word of hate to put you down because you are more powerful than they. You are anointed by the Most High God. You are a chosen one of God. God have ordained you for a purpose and a reason for you to fulfill on this earth. You are in this world, but you are not of this world. Know that you know that you have a purpose. You are here. You must fulfill your purpose. Do not allow the evil ones to pull you down. Do not allow their mockery to pull you down. Do not allow their criticism to pull you down because you are more powerful than them. You have ordained by God. In this time, God have called you to make sure that you fulfill your purpose. There is a reason and a purpose God will bring you here. Don't let discouragement kick you out. Don't let hopelessness kick you out because Jesus Jesus Christ let us know that in this world there must be tribulation, there must be trial, there must be trouble, but which you have a good share because he has overcome the world for us. If Christ overcome the world for you, no power born of a woman can stop you. No power born of a man can stop you because you are a choosing one of God, because you have faith in thy Lord. Who is that person that wants to stand in the way of choosing one? I have never seen not the devil himself can stand in the way of a chosen one because we are more powerful than the devil himself because we have the spirit of God inside us that make us so powerful that make us so unique that no power can cage us no demonic power can cage us no matter what you face today no matter what you find yourself it's a trial it's a trial of your faith to build your capacity up so that when you meet demon or devil inside you face him eyeball to eyeball to tell him that he's so powerless that he don't have power Power over you. I am here to strengthen your desire for God to pin copy of mandate and begin to run with it. You must fulfill your purpose before you return back to the, to the Most High God. You must not die in that calling. You must not die in that mandate God have given to you. you must fulfill it so that God will say, "Welcome, my faithful servant." Add that devil to try to stop you. No power on this earth can stop the chosen one. You are more than a conqueror. You are more powerful than the enemy. Be sh be courageous be courageous be courageous because god is with you if god be for you whom can be against you nobody not even the strong man in your father's house in your mother's house can be against you not even the lucifer himself can be against you begin to have this mindset that i am blessed by god i am anointed by god i am more acquitted by the power of the most high god the stamina of egos is is in me and the lion is is in me because Christ is the lion of the tribe of Judah. No power can stop the chosen one of God. Not this. No power can stop you. It's only you can stop yourself. Nobody can stop you. Be courageous because God loved you so much. He loved you so much. He's waiting for you. Everything you have passed through is to build you up so that in future nobody can put you down because you have learned a free lesson. May God bless you. May God lift you up. Don't give up. We all, we are in this journey. We must finish where? We must finish where? We must finish where? In Jesus' name. Amen.